Upon upgrading to Vericarito, the first thing an existing user will notice is the new ribbon interface. The ribbon bar allows you to quickly select the Vericut function you want to use. As you move from tab to tab, the ribbon bar dynamically updates to show the options available for that tab. These options are conveniently grouped by the function they perform within Vericut. The ribbon bar is highly customizable. Vericut 8 is all about optimizing our customers' workflow to quickly access only the menu choices needed at the time. The ribbon helps users find the functionality they need quickly and with minimal mouse clicks. With Vericut 8, users can create and save their own layouts as needed for different jobs or user preference. To ease the transition for existing users, a Verica Classic setting organizes all menus and options where users previously found them. And that's it. For more information on the ribbon bar, see the Verica help. The message area, also known as the logger, is located below the graphic area and by default displays the Verica messages. In Vericut 8, this area has been completely redesigned to consolidate messages, which gives the user only one place to check for information. The Vericut Logger now has four tabs. A Main, Analyze Messages, Excalibur Measurements, and Auto Diff Report. The Main tab now gives you a right-click option to use colors. When selected, all error messages are displayed in red, warnings in blue, and info in black. The Analyze Message tab provides all messages sorted in a tree structure. This tab gives you the ability to hide messages by groups, thus serves as a filter for the messages displayed. This tab also gives you the capability to sort the messages. For example, you can sort the messages by tool and then message type. Now, when using Excalibur, the data obtained will be displayed in the logger's Excalibur Measurements tab. When using Autodiff, you will notice that the Report button has been removed. The report is now automatically displayed in the Vericut logger. And that's it. For more information on the Vericut logger, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 8, the Excalibur window has been replaced by the Excalibur ribbon. All the same options you are familiar with are still available, except they have been neatly reorganized to reduce mouse clicks. Simply click on a cut surface to gather the data, and Vericut now displays the information in the logger. An option to select the active coordinate system has been conveniently added to the Excalibur tab of the logger. Now, when using the feature history icon, when you click on a cut surface, the NC program record which created that feature will be highlighted. An option to launch NC program review has been added to the logger. And with the line in the NC program now highlighted, you can quickly review the motions that created that feature. By moving the Excalibur options to the ribbon, you now have the ability to configure this tab to reposition icons and show only the options you use. And that's it. For more information on the Excalibur ribbon, see the Vericut help. When you open Tool Manager from Vericut 8, the first thing you will notice is the new ribbon bar, which has been redesigned to quickly select the function you want to use. A new Preferences window enables you to control how displayed information in Tool Manager is presented. For example, the default units, background color, cutter and holder colors, default tool options, and imported CAD model tolerances. For Vericut 80, a new option has been added, Mark as Default. This option gives you the ability to specify the current tool as the default tool for the current tool type and unit type. User-defined tools can have any number of holders or cutters with any level of holder parent hierarchy. These user-defined tools will then be stored in their own preference file. And that's it. For more information on the new Tool Manager options, see the Vericut help. 
For Vericut 8, the way variables are managed has been completely redesigned. The variables panels are used to monitor, initialize, and maintain G-code variables. The All Variables panels allows you to select the type of variables that are displayed and the right-click options allow you to configure the information that is displayed for the variables. To search for a specific variable, type the variable name in the search field. Use the Defined Add option to display the file and the line of code where the variable is defined. And then use the Back to NC Program icon to redisplay the currently running NC program. The recent panel displays the variables modified or referenced within the last 100 lines. You can specify the number of lines and the color to display the updated and referenced variables. The tracking panel enables you to easily track variables of special interest without having to scroll through or filter all the variables. And that's it. For more information on the variables panels, see the Veracut help.